Hey, how's it going? Uh, today we decided to come out on the wharf and uh, have a little play somewhere close to home. And uh, lucky for us, there's no one else here. So we're going to be uh, having a little blast, getting some liveys up. Have a look, it's not really the ideal condition for kingfish, but uh, we're going to definitely give it a go. Got some baits out there and have a go on some sliding rigs. But uh, beautiful day. Okay, why not get out and have a little sleigh? So yeah, stay tuned and uh, hopefully we'll get this all done. So what we're going to be doing a bit of today, since we've got the wharf to ourselves, uh, we're going to be doing a bit of slide baiting. Um, really popular method um, for catching kingfish. Um, and what it basically consists of is a sinker on the bottom. If you come around here, you'll be able to check this out. You just need a, a sinker on the bottom with a bit of uh, trace going to that. On a thick bead going up your main line. And you'll see why in a second. Yep, so that's your sinker. That's tied off to a, a, a bit of trace. I've got it on um, 80 pound just to make sure that it holds nice and stiff and that's going to be coming straight back up to uh, a game swivel and then just uh, tie it off onto the end of the line so that bead is just able to float there nice and, and simple and then all you're going to do is just like this right got it on a bit of a short rod today so this could be interesting As far as you possibly can like so um, if you're beach fishing this is an ideal way to um, target kingfish especially by river mouths stuff like that um, somewhere where there's a lot of current but you want to get a livey going straight out from you this is a really good way to start doing that uh, and that just sits out there like that livey. that comes on to this part of the rig here and uh, this is the probably the most important part of it other than the hook obviously um, and you, you're going to wind this part onto your line so that it can slide down your main line um, and basically once you have your larvae on that's going to just work its way slowly towards your sinker can't go any further can't come backwards it's an anti-reverse uh, swivel and uh, hopefully that rod's going to start singing my heart's going to start ringing and then uh, we'll be onto a kingy so Stay tuned, hopefully this is going to pull some results out. If not, we're going to have some fun doing it anyway. We've just caught ourselves a nice honey kawaii live bait. And I've just managed to move that on the line. Now, as you can see, they can slide down there with no worries at all. But the minute that kawaii tries to turn back, when I tighten this up, it's going to pinch the line and it cannot reverse. So it is only going to swim out to the sinker. So we're going to let him go, and off he goes again. Look at that. Right, so that's out there waiting to go, and uh, hopefully soon this reel starts run, run, uh, screaming and running off, and we've got a fish on that we're fighting. So stay tuned and watch this space. So, oh, reels getting a little bit of attention there. So one of the things that um, you want to try and do when you're out fishing, especially if you're targeting something, today we're, all we're wanting to do is try and target kingfish. So we're going to be fishing I've got a slide baiting rig, which you would have seen me set up earlier. Um, down the end I've got a, a live bait sitting under a balloon. Beautiful little uh, yellow tail. Uh, back in the corner there I've got a ledger rig and that's got a uh, uh, live bait sitting on that as well. And, uh, slide bait, slide bait, slide bait.
Hoo <laughs> hoo